Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss structure of agents in artificial intelligence with the help of a simple example. The structure of agent in artificial intelligence looks something like this. It is a combination of uh, two things that is uh, architecture and agent program. Now, what is agent program? The job of artificial intelligence is to design an agent program that implements the agent function. Again, what is agent function? Agent function is what? It is a mapping of percepts to the actions. Now, in the previous uh, videos, I have discussed uh, the robotic uh, vacuum cleaner. There are two locations will be there. A is the one location and B is the another location. There will be a robot which will sense the environment. If it is uh, dirty, it will execute the suck action. If it is clean, it will move to the other side of the location here. Now, for that uh, robotic vacuum cleaner, the agent function will look something like this. As I said earlier, what is agent function? Agent function is a mapping from percepts to actions here. Now, what are the possible percepts? Uh, location A may be clean or A may be dirty. Location B may be clean or B may be dirty in this case. For each of these things, an associated action is added in this case. So, this is what the agent function. The implementation of this agent function is nothing but what? Agent program in this case. Now, when you write agent uh, program, the agent program should run on some sort of uh, hardware. That hardware is nothing but what? The architecture in this case. So, that hardware or the computing device uh, can be the sensors or the actuators. The architecture might be just an ordinary machine or you can say that the personal computer or it might be a robotic car with uh, several onboard computers, cameras, sensors and so on. The skeleton for agent program looks something like this. They take the current percept from the sensors as the input and based on that particular current percept, they will select an action and that action will be executed with the help of actuators. So, in our uh, agent programs, we are interested in what is the input to our algorithm and what is the action written. We are not much interested in how it is uh, executed with the help of actuators here. So, whatever the agent programs we write, they will accept the input from the sensors. Based on that particular input, they will select an action. That action will be written in this case. Now, we will discuss uh, the structure of agents with the help of a simple uh, agent that is known as table-driven agent here. The table-driven agent program uh, keeps track of the current uh, percept sequence and then uh, they uses the index into the table to search for an action. And then uh, that action will be returned over here. Now, uh, to understand uh, this uh, table driven agent program, again we will uh, go back to that uh, vacuum mold example. In vacuum mold example, as I said earlier, there are uh, two locations are there. Either of the locations uh, may be clean or dirty. There is an uh, robotic uh, vacuum cleaner, it will uh, sense the current uh, environment. If it is dirty, it will suck the dirt. If it is not dirty, it will move to the other side here. Now, uh, for this uh, environment, the table driven agent uh, program looks something like this. The table driven agent will accept the current percept and based on the current percept, it will return an action in this case. Now, uh, these are the data structures required for this uh, table driven agent. The first uh, data structure is percepts. It is a sequence of uh, percept which is initially empty. Whenever we put the robotic uh, vacuum cleaner into the environment initially it has not yet uh, sensed the environment so that's the reason percepts will be initially empty here there is a need of a table which contains the table of actions indexed by percept sequences so initially fully specified what is the meaning of this one is uh, for each possible percept we should put an action into the table this is how the table will look like there are uh, four percepts are possible a may be clean, A may be dirty, B may be clean, B may be dirty. For each of these things, uh, we have to put the actions here. This table must be fully specified before we put the artificial agent into the environment here. Now, what actually happens? The AI agent will sense the current environment uh, that will be stored into percept here. So, that percept will be added to the percepts. That is, a percept is what? Sequence of percept here. Now, let's assume that uh, at this particular stage, the robotic agent will sense the location A as dirty. So, once it senses it as dirty, 
uh, it will go to this uh, table and it will search for that particular entry. So, A is dirty, it is present at this particular location. So, associated action will be written here. So, what is the associated action here? Suck. So, the for the current percept, it will search the table for that uh, particular entry. If the entry is found, an associated action will be written. So, in this case, action is what? The suck here. So, once the suck is executed, this room will become clean. So, once room has become clean, again the agent will sense this environment. Now, A is clean here. So, the meaning of this one is, uh, the A is clean means uh, the percept is A is clean. It will search for that uh, percept into the table and then it will return you the associated action. What is the associated action here? Right. The meaning of this one is, the robotic agent will move to right side of this particular environment. Now, once it comes to the right side, again it will sense the location. The location is dirty here. The meaning of this one is B is dirty. And what is the associated action? Suck will be written. And the same thing will be re repeated again and again in this case. So, this is how the table driven AI agent will work. I hope the concept of uh, structure of agents as well as the table driven agent is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.